In this video, I want to introduce you to some of the features of the Strava app that you'll be using in the Walking for Fitness course. If you haven't done so already, download the Strava app, Track Running, Cycling and Swimming, from your app store. It's available for both Android and Apple iOS systems. Log in with your email and pick a password. Don't forget your password. When you first start up Strava after logging in, go to the top right to the gear. Click on the gear and scroll down until you see display. Click on display. Click on the top one, units of measure. Set that to imperial. Strava will usually start up in metric. You want imperial, which will set display to miles. Your goal is to walk a mile a day. Uh, five days a week. It'll be easier to track if you're set to imperial measurement to miles. At the bottom center is a record button. You just tap on record. There's a blue dot. Wait till the blue dot stops moving. You can locate yourself at the lower right with the little bullseye and that will tell Strava to find where you are. You probably should tap that before you start walking so that it has a good fix on your starting location. At the bottom near the, just above the start button is a little shoe. Tap on the shoe, set it to walk for walking, unless for some reason you're actually running and then of course you can set it to run. But Strava usually comes up in running. They've now set it to walking. With that done all I do is press the start button and I start walking. Strava will keep track of the time at the top and it will keep track of the distance at the bottom. In the middle it's showing me my speed. There's a small there's a small teardrop shape down on the lower right. If you tap that you can see the track you're making where you're going as you walk. That's the map you're making. Tap on that little upside down teardrop and it will come back. You can see I've walked 0 0.1 miles. Not very far, but enough to get some distance. Your goal is to walk 1.00 miles per day. So I'll have to go a little bit farther to get a mile. But once you have that mile, tap on the square, the white square and the orange circle at the bottom. And then tap on finish. Do make sure you've already walked a full mile before you do that. Then you give your walk a title. Maybe you can put in whatever day it is. Saturday walk or whatever you want to call your walk. Uh, if it's a makeup, maybe you're going to put down that you're making up for uh, you missed a Thursday. By makeup what I mean is you have to walk five out of seven. So if you missed one during the weekday, you might be walking on a Saturday or something to make up for that. There's a, the walk is a type. You can add pictures if you want. There's a little photo icon there. You can add a picture should you wish to. You don't have to, but it does allow you to add photos. And uh, you can, if you want, add how the activity felt. But the most important thing to do is to save it at the top right. Now, if you're not online, it will save it and sync it later. And if you are online, it will sync it right away. And so you can see it's synced up. There's my little walk, short walk, very short distance, but it shows me the distance, the uh, elevation gain, none, and the time for my walk, and the track. You'll want to follow me at the top right. There's a little people icon, and you're going to be looking for me to follow me. Search for me. Just type in my full name, and I should show up and follow me. It'll be a little follow button. Follow me. When you follow me, I'll be able to follow you. You usually have to do a walk before I'll be able to uh, see you. Not always, but it helps if you've done one walk. It, tell, it, it kind of sets up Strava that you're an actual person. So you might have to do a walk and then follow me. I'll follow you and I'll see that walk. That's really all there is to using Strava. There's nothing to submit. If you follow me, I'll follow you and I'll see your walks and you'll see 
whatever I do, which is usually run, I'm not much for the walking, but uh, uh, you'll see mine, I'll see yours. Nothing to submit. I keep track of it, and at the end of the, on Friday evening, I'll update the weekly walks, and then I'll correct it on Saturday and Sunday if you do additional walks on Saturday and Sunday. But once a week is over, there is no way to add walks to that week. Time is a river, and you can't step in the same river twice. It simply keeps on flowing to the sea. This is how that course works. So you have a 24-hour cycle in which to get a mile in five times a week. That's it for the course. Uh, thank you for listening, and do let me know if you have any questions.